Okay, here we go again. Uh, let me move this uh, thing away. But um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna show you the Raymarine uh, fish uh, tractor in Raymarine Axiom nine inch four sonar views at uh, Burke Lake, Virginia, USA. The four sonars uh, are first one is 3D sonar, and then the second one is side vision sonar. Third one is down vision sonar. The fourth one is traditional sonar. You know what a fish attractor, underwater fish attractor, look like. So let's go. Let me move this uh, out of the way. Let me uh, maximize this, and you can see, um, like I uh, put here, Raymarine Axiom nine inch uh, RV one hundred transducer. This is my uh, YouTube channel name, and this is a local time, almost 4 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. The water temperature is 48 degrees. The water depth is about 12.1 uh, feet. Um, when you go to set up the four screens um, on the same um, multifunction display of Axiom, you need to uh, overlay the data, you know, so these time, temperature, speed over ground over here, it's all overlaid. And this is the fish attractor. You can see um, the water started to get shallow. Let me move this out of the way. And uh, you can see a couple of fish here, and about 10 feet deep now. And uh, some interesting thing here. This is a 3D, this is my kayak. And this is a real vision 3D. Speed over ground is 0.6. You can see some fish under the traditional sonar, down vision sonar, and uh, the side vision sonar. You know, each sonar has different um, characteristics, like the 3D sonar. Um, you can see a, a bunch of fish gathering around here. And you can see the down vision also show um, they congregated at the bottom here, you know. And this is the traditional sonar. You can see all the fish bundled or clustered uh, together, um, uh, like here. And the side vision sonar, not so much. And you can see this is a clump of fish uh, bundled together. Maybe catfish, maybe a uh, see big clump of fish. Um, maybe cap and you can see the 3d sonar is displaying and this one is interesting at about 50 feet i don't know what this is maybe 30 40 feet but it's you know to the side not um underneath the boat because tender line is the surface of the lake um you know so and this may be a log you know it's a pretty big log pretty long you know about 50 feet away um, so you can see this is quite amazing here, you know, and uh, the, the, the uh, lump of fish just passed. So I'm, uh, um, but you can still see this thing here, you know, it's pretty impressive. It's some kind of wall or some kind of tree trunk, huge one. You can see the shadow next to it, so this is side vision. It's on the left hand side. So I'm, you can see the 3D three D sonar, you can clearly see this uh, is going down. And this is a hump. You know, depth is 11 feet. Um, you, you can also see my uh, kayak. I'm turning around uh, um, of my kayak in this uh, 3D view, as you can see here. You know, and that's a, that's a fish right there. You know. So I'm uh, going back to uh, the fish find uh, the fish attractor. You know that's a that's a stick or something that's sticking over the ground. See over there. There's something interesting over there on the side, 75 feet away. There you go, some fish over there. Nothing on the side finder. Nothing on the 3D. Down vision is showing something. There is a fish, a, a, a bunch of fish right there. You know, but not so much on the 3D. So maybe that's not a fish. You can see something over here, something over here. You know, kind of a, a lot of tree trunk at the bottom of the lake. See that? That one? Uh, this is another big. Uh, lump of fish, but the 3D is not showing anything, so maybe not. Maybe just some bottom, bottom.
bottom structure over there. Not sure what that is. Maybe fish. Water depth is still 11 feet. See the side edge and it's not showing anything. Ah, there's some fish uh, over here. The 3D see the fish first and then the traditional sonar see the fish and the down vision also see the fish cluster cluster of fish, lump of fish. You know, right here. And the down vision, I mean the side vision kind of not showing in the side vision. Maybe I need to like decrease the range. You know. See that lump? Lump of fish. 3D is not showing anything. Side vision. It's very interesting. All four different visions together. This red thing here is a hard button, the down vision. I'm turning back. Uh, it's only 0.2 mile per hour now. I'm drifting. Okay, so I'm uh, coming to some uh, interesting structure on my left hand side over here and some uh, shadow of this big thing, trunk, tree trunk. Same thing here. Down vision, traditional sonar. There's a fish at the bottom, but the 3D is not showing. You know, so you you would think that's fish, that's fish, but no, because three D is not showing anything. Side vision does show a lot of structures, you know, to the left and to the right. That may be a fish. I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh, see that? That's the fish attractor here. See that? Tons of fish here. That's a down vision fish attractor, and that's a traditional sonar. I mean, it's more dramatic, and the 3D is pretty dramatic. Size scanning is pretty dramatic here too. You see that? That's the shadow of the of of the fish attractor. It's a shadow of the fish attractor. That's my kayak over there. You know, so I'm turning around again. The 3D fish finder or the 3D sonar shows. Um, you know, speed over ground is 0.5, 47 degrees. Right now it's only 8 feet deep. Whoa, see that? Side vision shows a lot more. 75 feet on my left. To my left. And um, that's a big, big hole there. Yeah, right now it's 8 feet deep. Yeah, you know, so I'm turning around and going back to that fish attractor, and uh, <clears throat> this may be the fish attractor to my left, as this is indicating, you know, in the 3D position. See that? This is the fish attractor, this guy here. Shows nothing in the down. Um, vision or the traditional sonar, but the side vision and the 3D vision clearly shows that I'm turning back to the uh, fish attractor, and now it's getting. I'm heading back towards the deep end from 8 feet to 13 feet now, you know, and that's the fish attractor there. You know, as you can see, the traditional sonar and the um, down vision both show, you know, I'm going deeper. Uh, towards uh, where the fish attractor is and you can see a bunch of fish just show and this is a 1.1 mile 1.2 mile you know over here the fish yeah you see that the fish I just passed and now the traditional sonar not so much in the uh, down vision here but a lot uh, activity over here as you can see and there is the 3D fish attractor not as dramatic as the other views here see that down vision and the um, what do you call that? The traditional sonar and the side vision is very impressive as well. You know, very impressive. That's the fish attractor. 
right there. So now I'm turning around. You can clearly see my um, um, what do you call that? My Kaya is turning, you know, 360 degrees, going back to the uh, Fisher tractor again. And this is 11 feet deep, you know. So that's the that's the fish, you know. There's something going on to the, to my right over there, and to my left. That's the Fisher tractor. See that? See that? See that? That's the Fisher tractor, and it's just over there. Okay, I passed. So you can see when you put all four sonars together on one display and then you can see kind of see I'm turning it again you know depth is 18 feet you know <clears throat> pretty deep uh, at this point and the side vision is showing something over here you can see I'm turning around again in my fish finder I'm actually 20 20 21 you know 20 feet see some uh, bottom um, activity oh see as soon as I locate these uh, lump of fish and the 3D shows the fish, you see? So it's consistent. Same thing with the down vision and then the side vision as well. You know, so this lump at the lake bottom is the the lump of fish that I identify. Look, look the 3D fish finder image of fish in blue color. See that? And same thing over here. See that? That's a fish. But at the bottom of the lake, about 20 feet deep. You know, so do a drop shot um, right now. Should be able to catch them. But I'm so focused on this um, fish finder. It's just, you know, <laughs> not um, should have dropped something down there and try to catch those fish. So so uh, 3D is, um, you know, can see the fish. You got to have all three or four side by side together and then you will be ha you will have a better idea of what you're seeing because um, the the you know side vision does look to the right and left for you know very far 150 feet that's a lot you know there we go I see something over here in the traditional sonar not so much in the oh see that see that uh, so I'm going coming back to the shallow from you know just uh, 20 feet all the way back to 12 feet. See that? See that hump? And I started to see fish right away. See that? Uh, on the on the on the on the 3D sonar. And then you know so this see this is the fish tractor. It's uh, on the side um, on the left side of the side vision. You can see the fish tractor. You know. You know you can see it's coming close, and then you know. So I keep turning, you know, keep turning back, keep turning back, and then see this hump here? Over the hump and drop down. And then you see I come back to this uh, 3D fish finder showing the fish tractor again, you know, down vision, traditional sonar, and here's the side vision of the of the um of the fish tractor. See that? And it's 3D and showing those uh, you know there are fish uh, hiding in those fish tractor. In this cold temperature, 47 degrees or 7 degrees uh, Celsius, you know, Fahrenheit. And now I'm heading back. See that? I'm turning around my kayak. 3D shows, um, you know, I turn my kayak. And then the traditional uh, is showing I'm turning back to the deeper water of the lake, you know, 20 feet deep. And that's it. There you have it. Okay. Uh, subscribe for uh, more. When I go to uh, the deeper water and the wider uh, river channel like Potomac River and Chesapeake Bay. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.